Hey guys, it's Sushix here, and welcome back to Pixelmon Season 3. This is Episode 7, and we got stuff to do in today's episode. I feel like I'm starting every episode by saying we got stuff to do this episode. Uh, so last episode, we... Oh, I'm spinning a lot. That's making me dizzy. All right. Uh, last episode, we got uh, some diamonds finally from some Sableye, and then I ended the episode with being all disappointed because I didn't have any iron to make the healer. Then I read the comments, and then I checked my inventory, and it turns out I had... Wait, where is it? 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 Where did I put it? Oh, it's in my inventory. I had 15 iron ore just, like, laying in the middle of one of my chests, so... I'm incredibly stupid. Um, so I have some baked potato here, so that should hopefully last us for this episode. But I'm going to put this iron ore in there. And then we're going to make a healer. And then we're going to train the hell out of our Pokemon. Try and catch maybe uh, another another Pokemon. Add it to our Pokedex. Um, so what I'd like to do is evolve our Starly. And then get some water stone shards because I only just learned today that Shelda evolves with a water stone. So we're going to try and get a water stone and get a cloister. And then just, like, level up all our Pokemon and catch something new. Uh, so, uh, wait, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something else first. Oh, wait, okay, so let's grab, uh, what do we need? We need, we need four aluminium plates. One, two, three, four. And then we also, oh, oh, oh. We need, uh, four iron ingots. Which, which, yeah, that's coming along. And then we need one diamond. And that's it. Okay, so we pretty much have everything we need. When I say pretty much, I mean, we do exactly have everything that we need. You know what I'm going to do with the cool way? Bam. Bam. Have ourselves our first healer. Now, let's actually place this in uh, the house that's eventually going to be made. I'm going to place this here because when you break healers, you don't get the healer back. You actually get aluminium plates. Uh, so I'm placing that down there so then hopefully we don't have to move it. Or when we inevitably do, we have like a lot of diamonds and stuff and it's not going to really matter. Pharaoh, what are you doing? You do not live here. All right, now that we've got a healer, I can start taking risks. Let's see if Simba can take on Pharaoh, because if he can kill Pharaoh, that's going to be a lot of experience. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Oh, my God. You're going to do it. 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 You're going to... Ah, I did it. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, okay, he went up, like, two levels, and then we also got another level on... Psh, I don't know what Pokemon had uh, had the EXP share. I wasn't looking. Raw. Let's get rid of... Uh, nothing. I don't want Raw. Uh, what was it? Sh Wait, okay, so Shelda has the XP share, so I'm gonna put that on Starly, because Starly needs it. Uh, and then we have a Feather, cool, and we got an Egg as well, cool. But that is uh, a really cool Pokemon for us to kill, and now we can just go like this. We can go BAM, heal our Pokemon. Oh, why does it open any eye when I heal my Pokemon? That's a little weird, oh well. Uh, okay, so now we can heal at any time, so that makes this entire series like 10 times easier now. Or, like, just ten times better. Uh, so, welcome to episode seven, my peoples, my Pixelmon peoples. What's, uh, what's happening, my Pixelmon peoples? You guys all good? Uh, I'm, I'm good. I uploaded, um, Reach episode four, I think, today. Yes, episode four. And, uh, I'm excited for that series. I think, I think, uh, now that I'm starting to get my channel back on track and I'm uploading a lot more regularly and I'm really, like, happy with the content and my microphone is, is, uh, better quality and I've been actually uploading at better quality in terms of, like, uh, videos for the past, like, couple of weeks. If you look at, like, the videos I'm uploading now, the quality, and then look at them maybe, I don't know, a month ago, you can actually see a pretty big difference. And I, it's just, I changed the way I render it. Uh, it takes a lot longer for me to render the video now, but it looks a lot better. And it's pretty much around the same file size, so... Uh, that works for me, living in Australia with my <laughs> shitty upload speeds. Um, so yeah, let's head over to the desert. I think it's, yeah, it's in this direction. And I think, you know what, I really want to try and train, um, Beyonce. I really, oh, wait, okay, I'll do the statue later, but I'm going to rename, uh, I'm going to rename Shelda. So, congratulations to the winner of the Shelda rename. If you guys are new to my series and you don't know what I am talking about, uh, every Pokemon I catch, I like to rename them, and I like to give you guys the power to rename them. Uh, so if you guys ever want to catch, uh, ever want to, uh, name one of the Pokemon that I've caught that hasn't currently got a nickname, uh, you, you know, you just leave a comment down below. I generally only try and catch one Pokemon per episode, so, you know, I don't have, like, people going like, Hey, name this one this, and name this one this, so I like to just keep it at one Pokemon I'm renaming per episode. Uh, so today it's Shelled Up, because that's our only one that hasn't been renamed, and you guys gave me a lot of awesome suggestions on the last episode. Ooh, a Farfetch'd. Oh, I'd want to catch that, but it's level 40, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, <laughs> Farfetch'd is pretty cool. Um, but the winner of the Shelda rename is uh, Lewis Marco with the name Neptune. Now, I know that Shelda is a female, and Neptune is typically a male name, um, but I think we can make it work. I think Neptune, if it wasn't for, like, you know, the Greek god and everything, 
uh, you know, Neptune could be a female name. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it Neptune because I thought it was cool and I didn't realize till after I kind of decided I was gonna choose it that, you know, we have a female and I'm like, ah, doesn't matter. So Neptune is the name of our female shelter. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a cool name, so thank you, Lewis, for that suggestion. There was a lot of awesome names from you guys, and just keep them up, because you guys have been doing uh, really, really good with, like, their names. Like, I have to decide between, like, multiple different people and their, uh, their cool names. So, yeah, that's, that's that. Um, yeah, so we finally made it to the desert. Now, the reason I like going to the desert is because Rico, uh, our Primplop, can pretty much one-hit most of the Pokemon here. Like, Numel's Fire-type, you just use Bubble Beam, and one-hit, dead. And then you can do the same with, like, Geodude and... Ooh, Double Team. That's actually quite nice. Although I'll probably end up getting rid of it. Um, and we've got another Numel here. It's only level 10, so it's probably not going to give bunch. But the main point of this, I guess, is, you know, one, we're training Primplop, which is good, because we kind of need to train Primplop. Uh, but two, I just want to train Beyonce, because I want to get that Staraptor so we actually have a flying Pokemon. Because having a flying Pokemon would really, really help, like, explore everything and do stuff and find... We still haven't got an orb yet. We need to find more bosses. Oh, yeah, he's evolving already. Awesome. That was a really quick, like, evolution from the start of the episode. So, uh, yeah. Super hype. Oh, and uh, I did I did say before that the new Reach episode came out. If you guys haven't seen that episode or you haven't been watching the Reach series at all, uh, I suggest go giving it a, a little try because it's actually a really awesome series. And we're starting to get into a lot of the magical mods, uh, mainly Thorncraft. So if you guys want to see me doing some uh, cool magic stuff, uh, just go check out the series. Because I would really love some support on uh, on other things, you know, that, that aren't specifically, you know, Pixelmon. Because I can't do Pixelmon forever, I'm going to try and do Pixelmon as long as I can, because I still enjoy it. People still are like, how do you do Pixelmon for like, I've done nearly, I've done Pixelmon videos for pretty much like the entire year. Uh, I started doing Pixelmon 3.0 when that came out in like March or end of February or whatever. And that's when my channel really took off. But I had a couple Pixelmon series before that that didn't really do too well because I didn't really have like the Pixelmon audience I do now. Um, but like I've been doing Pixelmon videos for a long time and I still find a lot of enjoyment out of doing it. Like starting this fresh series, this season 3, I'm so excited to record this like every day because I'm having so much fun with it. Just like going back to normal Pixelmon, it's like so much fun to do. Um, and you guys all seem to love it. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. An attack move that cuts down the target's HP to equal the user's HP. Uh, let's get rid of double team, because I, I don't know, that maybe that could be useful. Um, so yeah, this new season has, like, really helped me. If not, like, I don't know, it's doing really well, as you guys probably know, like, in terms of just, like, views and likes and the support for it. Um, but it's kind of just, like, kicks me into gear, I guess, for, like, recording more content. Like, oh, shit, this, oh, oh you died. Uh, go Neptune. Use, you don't have a water move. Damn it. Uh, change it to Simba. Alright, uh, you're all good. Okay, Spark. Oh, good. Nice. 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 Simba's, Simba's pretty awesome. He's pretty strong. Um, we're gonna have to head back though, because Rico's dead. Wait, didn't I see a temple? I swear I saw a temple somewhere. Uh, I swear I saw it. But I didn't, I was like talking. It didn't really register too much. Uh, damn it. I can't see one. I do see a pokey loot in the distance, and I want to, ah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, we won't go grab it, we're gonna go home. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, it's kicked me into gear and like just recording more, because I've been on holidays for like over a month now, maybe even two months, I don't even know, because uh, I ended school, and because I'm changing schools, I got to end my school year like a little bit earlier, uh, because the school I was at previously for year 11, which is my second last year of schooling. Hello, Dunsparces, how you doing? Um, <clears throat> the, uh, yeah, there's pretty, they have two weeks after school ends where you pretty much do the next year level. So I would have been doing year 12 at that point for two weeks and then I would have ended at school. But because I'm not staying at that school for next year, I didn't have to do those two weeks. So I got to finish two weeks earlier than like all my friends. And, uh, and then at my new school, we have pretty much the same thing, except it only goes for two days. And it's actually, uh, Monday, Tuesday of next week. So I'm actually pretty excited to go do that. Um, but yeah, I got to start like holidays pretty early. So anyway, my point is I've been on holidays for a little while and, uh, I kind of planned like when I started my holidays that, uh, I was going to do a lot more videos and be able to at least do daily videos and stuff and kickstart, you know, my channel into gear and actually get stuff done. Um, and try and grow my channel and get it, you know, going good. And, um, I didn't, I, I, I was doing at least, you know, an episode or a video once every couple of days. Maybe if I got lazy, it would be once every three days. But it really wasn't what I wanted 
um, out of my channel. And then, you know, I started Pixmon Season 3, and you guys, like, blew me away with the first episode. It's at 430 likes, I think, at the moment, after five days, I think it's been. Um, so that's... That, I was like, holy crap, you guys are still here, and you guys are still awesome. So, that, yeah. So then I decided this is going to be a daily series, and then because I don't want to be ending my other series, that forces me to make two videos a day on some days. And I'm enjoying it. I'm having, I'm having fun with it. Like, it was... It wasn't, like, a hassle to record any of these episodes, these Pixelmon episodes. It's not a hassle to record, you know, the Reach episode that I did, um, or the Hoenn episode that I've got to record um, later as well. It's, like, it's, it's fun. So, thank you guys all for supporting the series, because you've done more than just support this series or, you know, make this series better. You've made my entire, entire channel, like, better and make me upload more things that aren't just this series. So, uh, yeah. See, you see how the little things like uh, supporting your uh, your favorite YouTubers or whatever. I'm not gonna go out and say that I'm your favorite YouTuber, but I should be your favorite <laughs> favorite YouTuber. Um, but see how just like the little things, like leaving a like on a video, it can like change the entire channel. It can it can you know make the content creator just feel like that much better. That's going to make them put out more videos and whatever. So you know, thank you guys so much. I say thank you like way too much, um, but you know you guys deserve it. So there you go. Um, and if, I don't think I have mentioned, oh, that's only level 9. Oh, wait, we should, no, I don't want to catch that. We already have a flying type. What do we need? We need, like, a fire type, except I don't want, uh, let's go, I don't know, we need a fire type and a grass type. All right, let's go look for that, because we need to catch a new Pokemon for this episode. Um, but I haven't mentioned it yet, so, uh, if you haven't already left a like on the video, please do so now. As I just said, you know, like, each like, you know, can make a massive difference. Um, so if we could hit 150 likes, as always, uh, that could be great. You guys are doing really awesome in terms of, like, hitting like goals. Um, and we've pretty much been hitting it every single day. Um, so, yeah, keep it up, guys. And we should all be happy to happy chaps. Yeah. So, uh, we've got a Voltorb over here, but nothing I can do. Ooh, is that a, is that a Pokelute I see? Is that a, I spy with my little eye? Not a Pokelute. It's a trainer. You threw me off. You know what? I'm going to defeat you now. You... Oh, hey, don't you run away from me. Oi, come here, Owen. Stupid Owen. Uh, Metal Claw. Probably should have just used Bubble Beam, but would have been stronger. Bubble Beam. There we go. Mankey. Die, Mankey. And that was really, really easy. Okay. Um, f Another Farfetch'd against, like, level 45, so we can't even touch it, really. We do have f four Ultra Balls. A Dusk Ball, Safari Ball, and a Love Ball. So I'm sure we can catch something. If we find something that we want to catch, I'm sure we have the means to catch it. Although, all I'm seeing... Oh, wait, wait, yeah, there's like Ponytars and stuff around. Alright, let's catch a Ponytar. What level are you? 16? We can do that. Uh, so if I just use Metal Claw, because that's not going to be effective. We can do like small amounts of damage. Maybe if I just use Pound. Alright, yeah, let's use Pound again. Oh, Pound. Oh, okay. You're low. You're low. Let's... Uh, you know what? Nah, okay. I was gonna say I could use Metal Claw and try and bring them down lower, but... Uh, let's use the cool the different balls first, like Love Ball and Safari Ball. And if those don't work, we're gonna move on to the Ultra Balls. But, uh, I like using different types of balls, because they just, like, look cool. And we caught a Ponytar with a Love Ball, so now that means, I don't know, Ponytar... We love Ponytar now or something. So we have a Fire-type Pokemon! Awesome! Uh, which is... So, so leave your comment down below with what you'd like to rename the Ponytar that we just caught. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, now I'm going to head over to the beach. We're going to look for some Laprises. Not because I want to catch one, but because I want to uh, defeat one and get the Lapis Lazuli that it drops. So then we can start colouring in the statues. I've also got to make a statue for today. I've got to make someone's statue. I have the name written down. I've been a lot more prepared with recording these episodes than I normally am. Every time I start the episode, I'm like, okay, have I got the statue down? Have I got the rename down? Good. So I don't have to go looking for it in the middle of the episode. Because I've done that sometimes. Uh, Kingla, if you weren't level 40, I'd defeat you. Uh, what do we got over here? We've got some good water Pokemon that we could train against. Oh, a Krabby. All right. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's just send Simba over. I'd like to train Simba a little bit more. Maybe we can get that Pharaoh that's over... Oh, no. He's, he's flying away. We're not going to be able to get him. Uh... And I would like to train Beyonce still. Because, as I said, I want to get uh, that Staraptor so we can fly on him. And there we go. Level 24. I'd like to also, like, start looking at some rare Pokemon soon. Um, we're not really in a biome that spawns rare Pokemon. We could... Yeah, we don't... Oh, wait. We should get these uh, shards. Yeah. Uh, so we don't really live near a, an ocean or a desert. I mean, we'd live, like, near them, but we don't actually live near enough that, like, if we stay near a house, 
um, a, a Groudon or a Kyogre is going to spawn. So it would have to actually be near an ocean, like now, or be in a desert, like before, um, to catch one of those rare Pokemon. Or, like, ah, and we can't catch a Rayquaza because we're not, like, anywhere near, uh, what is it? Extreme Hills or Plains or something like that. One of those biomes. We're not near them. Ooh, a Mantine! Ooh, you're new. You're new in 3.3.5. You're new in the latest update. That's pretty cool. Actually, I'm going to try and kill you. I'm sure I can do it. You're a water type. We can we can do this. Come on, uh, Simba. You got this. Oh, wow. You one hit him. Holy crap. You're, you're so good. I love you. Um, I love you. <laughs> uh, Slowpoke, can we kill you? We probably could, right? Nope, never mind. Uh, come on, Rico. Oh, oh, I crashed. Is the whole Minecraft? Yeah, my whole Minecraft crashed. All right, that's weird. Uh, we're going to be right back. We are back from the crash, and I don't know what happened. My Java actually crashed. It wasn't that NVIDIA thing that I used to get. I think I pretty much fixed that uh, error, but that was like a weird crash that I think was a Pixelmon issue. I'm not going to risk trying to kill that Slowpoke again. He killed he killed Simba anyway, so we may as well just go back home. Um, if we find any bug Pokemon... Oh, a Dubious Disc. Isn't that used to evolve Porygon into Porygon Z or something? Or I feel like that's used to evolve something. I would Google it, but I don't really care that much. Um, yeah, let's train our Beyonce on these uh, on these Oddishes and stuff. Let's try and not get into a battle with the Venusaur, because that's not going to be a fun time. Um, but yeah, I just want to train up Beyonce a little bit. Um, level 6 Bellsprout. Ugh, these are also weak. Alright, come on. Level 17 Bellsprout. That'll give us something, at least. Um, wing attack. Easy peasy. Uh, what level do you get Staraptor? It's probably at, like, 32 or something like that. I would assume. Somewhere in the 30s. Uh, Kadabra. Eh. Oh, we could get Ender Pearls from you. I don't know that we'd really need them, but I think it'd be cool. Maybe this can be, like, the, se uh, the season where we go to, uh, the end... And because there's not going to be an end dragon there, we can just... Oh, what'd you do? Did you just use teleport or something? Oh, I don't know. Uh, because there's not going to be an ender dragon, we could just set up a home in the end world. That would be something interesting. Um, I don't know. We could... Uh, maybe we could set up like... Uh, oh, wait. I was going to get a uh, water stone. We should do that, maybe. Ah, maybe I'll save it for next episode. Oh, a Bulbasaur! Oh, I don't even care that we've already caught a Pokemon. If we can catch this Bulbasaur, I'll take it. And then you guys have two Pokemon that you can rename, but I'll only choose one. I'm not going to rename two Pokemon in the same episode, but um, let's go with... Okay, let's go with Beyonce, but we're going to use, like, Quick Attack. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, that was close. Okay, let's use Safari Ball, because it looks cool. Although, I doubt it would catch a Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is pretty, uh, you know, not the best catch rate, because it's a starter Pokemon. And did we seriously... Oh, we caught it! Yay! We caught a Bulbasaur. Awesome. So, that's our stecker... Se there. Can't talk. Second starter Pokemon. Um, so, yeah. Leave a comment down below for your... You know, the rename for either Ponyta or uh, or Bulbasaur. And uh, I think next episode, I'm not going to try and catch Pokemon. So, then we can just rename the other one next episode. Um, instead, I think next episode, we're going to try and uh, get a Cloyster. Because I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but uh, I think it's maybe time we wrap up this episode. We're going on nearly 20 minutes here, which is generally around the time I like to try and finish it up, unless I've got other stuff to do. Um, we made the healer real early. We've been doing, like, a decent amount of training, uh, I think. Beyonce is actually, yeah, Beyonce went up a lot more levels than I <laughs> realized. Uh, yep, all those are in order of their level. I like doing that. Uh, Poliwag. Oh, there's so many Pokemon I'd like to catch. I just don't want to catch too many, because, as I said, it's going to get the whole renaming thing mixed up. And one day we'll actually have a house. You know what, maybe I can end this episode by just doing a little bit of building. Because we are, we have, we are kind of finishing this a little bit. Oh, and I do have to do the statue. God damn, I completely forgot about the statue. Um, but yeah, you know, we normally end the episode with me, like, running around trying to do something really quick. But we've already achieved what we wanted to achieve this episode. So, I can take a little break and do a little bit of building. Do a little bit of mining. Um, so anyway, the winner of the, the statue for episode 7... Or, yep, this is episode 7, uh, is Shintagami, so thank you, and I like your name, because it sounds cool. I just whacked my microphone, hopefully it doesn't pick up too much. Uh, so Shintagami... Yes, there we go, sculpt. Bam, there you go. Uh, we could also go mining and just try and find Lapis that way. Uh, I don't think there's any other way besides killing a, um, a Lapras or going mining. I also don't have any... Do I have another sign? Somewhere it'll be in this chest if we do no. Okay, so we're gonna grab some sticks and We need six pieces of wood uh, I'll just grab those 
and uh, we can either go mining or we can continue building our house. I wish this was a stream right now because then I could just ask you guys live. When I'm recording, I have to make these decisions on the spot. I have to figure out what you guys want to see in the video. Whether you want me to... See, I feel like mining might be a little bit more boring than building. Oh, whoops. Um, wait, no, let me just write this out. Shinta... Uh, wait, is it Shinta? I have it written down here. Shinta Gami is... Uh, oh, whoops. Wrong line. Sexy. There we go. And bam. So I feel like mining would be more boring. Like, building would be fun for you guys to watch. But if I can find some... Uh, I'm going to go heal. If I can find some lapis, then that'll make mining better than the building because we're going to be able to color in our statues and they're actually going to start to look cool. So it kind of depends. We can take the risk of going mining or we can just build. You know what? Let's take the risk. I always, I always prefer to take the risk anyway. Oh, man. This iron pickaxe is about to run out. Let's make another one just to be safe. Um, good thing we kind of have all the materials on us already. Just make more sticks and make another pick. Awesome. And then we also got to pick up any other iron that we can find because we're pretty much out of iron besides this eight here. And we're going to need a lot more. Now, this was a, going to be my cave and then I kind of just abandoned it. So let's try and find another cave that we haven't yet used. I feel like we've used all the caves over there. So let's go this way and just look for a cave. Um, otherwise, I mean, this is a, we'll end the episode out here somewhere if I can't find a decent cave. Um, we might do a little spot of training if we can find something worth training against. Wait, can we train against that gloom or is it too high? 39, yeah, that's too high. I need something like in the 20s, maybe early 30s uh, for our Beyonce to train against. A level 10 Paris I can't be bothered with at all. Uh, 43 Jigglypuff is way too high. Also, we're not going to be super effective against it with any of our Pokemon, so it's pointless. Um... Hmm, no caves I don't see. I think that's a grotto over there, though. Let's go to that grotto. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy, get in the grotto. I think it's a grotto. Otherwise, I placed, like, torches here randomly. If that's the case, then I'm just going to grab the torches because it's going to keep confusing me every time I come down here. Also, we could always use more torches. Uh, stupid trees in my way. There's too many trees. Get out of my ways. Uh, uh, right here, apparently. Somewhere here. Oh, is there a cave here? Um, where is it? Where's this grotto? Ah, it is a grotto. Awesome. And then we can also check out that cave. So this is a perfect spot. Thank you, grotto, for leading the way. I feel like we might have already got this, though. If so, I'm going to get rid of the torches, because I find grottos by torches. Like, that's the only way I pretty much find these things. Um, so let's see here. I think that's how I'm gonna... Yeah, okay, so we already got it. Let's get rid of the torches so I don't accidentally come here again. Yep, so now it's dark on the minimap, and you'd have no idea that the grotto is here. What I used to do, wait, oh wait, I have Tree Capitator. Okay, so this is what I always used to do, is when I take in a grotto, just use Tree Capitator on it, and it removes the entire grotto, and you never get confused again. So, yep, get that, and I'm never going to get confused again. Although, that did use my axe, and part of the grotto is still here. But, we, that should be fine. <laughs> um, Alright, let's go into the mine, and then I'm going to end... Oh, do I have any torches on me? No. Okay, maybe we can find some coal, because I do have some sticks. Oh, I see some iron. Oh, this is going to be a really good cave. Alright. Let's grab this coal real quick, and we are going to- Oh, and I still haven't used my teleport this episode, so we can just teleport back home if we get lapis, and I can start coloring in uh, the statues, and good thing we made that iron pick. Uh, so let's put these sticks there. Oh, I do have torches. The two torches I got from the thing. How did I forget about that? We literally just did it. This is how stupid I am. Oh my god. Alright, put those statues there, but- um, statues, these, uh, torches. Did I drop something? I did. Okay, <laughs> let's head down. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, already down to, like, lava level. How far down? Oh, we're at 50. Okay, that's just, like, a random spot of lava. Where does Lapis generally spawn? I think it might be worth our time to figure out at what level Lapis spawns the most at. Um, I could Google it right now. Or we could just try and get lucky and just find it without me having to Google anything. There's a lot of iron here. I might mine this, like, off-camera or something because we just want to find Lapis. Like, that's it. Uh, oh wow, this cave has to have lapis somewhere. We have a nice view of, like, everything. Um, I'm gonna put cobblestone there so we can make, make bridges and whatever. Uh, so this episode went from, like, finishing up early to probably being a late one. Um, all of my picks on episodes are ending up being late because I just want to keep recording. I don't want to end it. Let's, uh, get this torch out. Mmm, lapis, 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 lapis. 
Um, I don't see it anywhere. There's a lot of iron, which is good, but I don't really need iron at the moment. I wish there was water down there. I could just drop down. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna die here. I do have- I think I turned keep inventory on, though. I think. So, we should be good if I do die. We're just gonna end up back at home. But, uh, ah, just go away. Let me- let me get down, uh, somehow. There's nowhere I can drop without, like, dying. Uh, alright, let's try and mine over here. I'm gonna see- can I, can I drop down here? No, I can drop down over here, though. Oh, 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 okay, I did it. No worries. Cool, I meant to do that. Oh, shit! Okay, no, I meant to do that. <laughs> uh, oh, yes! Finally! Okay, so we did find the lapis that we wanted. God, I'm actually getting good at actually finding the things that we want. And there's more lapis there. Previously, anything I wanted to find, we would never get. So, uh, next episode, shiny Groudon is going to show up. Because that's what I want. So, give it to me, Minecraft God. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to grab this lapis. That should be enough for, like, a 36 statues. So, we should be fine. We should be fine. We're never going to have to look for lapis again. Which means if we find a lapis, we can, uh, we can actually take it for our own. Now, is it worth just while we're down here grabbing some iron? I don't really know. How long is this recording? Uh, oh god. Okay, I don't want this to go half an hour, so let's quickly just teleport home. And, uh... Okay, my friend vibrated. It was just an email, so don't have to worry about it. Uh, okay, so pallet. Let's quickly... There we go. And, oh, I don't know if we cooked, uh, did we cook our cactus? Wait, it's down here. Uh, no, we did not. So, let's just put some stuff away. We'll grab this red dye that we have, and we're gonna cook all these cactus real quick. And let's just start putting away all these items that we have while we're waiting. So, this all goes in the Minecrafty chest. Uh, and uh, let's organize this. All goes in the Minecrafty chest. That there, the apple goes in there, the sapling, and then the rest all goes in the pixel money chest. Oh, not that. Pixel money chest. Oh, no, wait, we leave the balls with us. We keep the balls on us so we can, like, we can always. Uh, catch Pokemon. Did I accidentally put any in here? Uh, oh, I did. I put my Dusk Balls in there. No, we need the Dusk Balls. Dusk Balls are good. Especially because it's nighttime right now. Uh, Alright, that's good. Let's make some pallets. I think we need wood as well, don't we? Just planks. Um, bam, bam, bam. Four pallets. And now I'm going to show you how this works, finally. So, uh, Voidwalker, get your skin together, man. There we go. Bam. Bam! Color! Oh, color's everywhere. Come on, how much- how many more do we need? What, three more? Okay, cool. Then, uh, now our statues actually look really cool. So, you know, make sure you comment down your Minecraft username so we can actually, uh, make a statue of you. Cause then they look really cool now. So there's three. I'm gonna just, bam, make three more pallets. Color these guys in, and now every time we make a statue, they're actually gonna have their- their colors. So they can look all cool. Bam! Look at that. Look at that. Ah, looks so much better. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the episode. Uh, don't forget to leave a like it down below if you haven't already. If we could try to hit 150 likes, that would be amazing. Uh, don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below as well with your Minecraft username so I can add a statue of you. Or, um, and or, I guess I should say, uh, your nickname for either Ponyta um, or Bulbasaur. And I'll pick one nickname to rename next episode and then we'll pick another nickname after that. Um, and then also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more Pixelmon Minecraft and all that goodness, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pixelmon Season 3. Bye!